Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mike. I'm Jenna. And I'm Jerry. And we are React Monocle. As we know, building modern, large-scale web applications can be a challenging undertaking. React, a front-end UI library, has emerged as a powerful tool to enable the developer to address the complexities of application state changes. Two characteristics of React which make it so powerful is its components-based approach to building, building composable user interface views and its distinct method of handling application state by encouraging the implementation of unidirectional flow data. However, React is still a relatively new technology. Developer tooling has not yet caught up with truly empowering the developer to clearly see the propagation of complex state changes through their app. So, imagine using React to build an application like Instagram, for instance. Each post can be separated into multiple components that pass down data in the form of props to child components, which in turn may also run own child components. As you might imagine, keeping this mental model for component hierarchy quickly becomes more and more difficult. Also, keeping track of props becomes a really tedious task. So, what's the solution? React Monocle. React Monocle takes a novel approach by providing a visual representation of your component hierarchy while concurrently displaying a um, while concurrently, while concurrently displaying a feedback from your uh, state data. So let's go ahead and run Monocle on this Instagram application. To launch it, we'll type monocle in the command line, which will generate an HTML page with our Instagram application on the right and our monocle tree layout on the left. We chose a tree structure so that we could clearly represent the application's component hierarchy with the main app component as the root node and child components on nested branches. If we look at the Instagram app itself, we can't immediately tell where state is held nor where prompts are being passed out. If we look at our tree, however, we can clearly see where state lives as those nodes are colored blue. Additionally, we can find out more information about state, props, and methods within each component by clicking on that node. But what if we want to see how things change as state is updated? Well, let's update state by commenting on a picture. You can see here, as Jerry types in the comment box, our monocle tree reflects these changes in real time. Then, as he submits the comment, the highlighted links and nodes map out exactly which components are inheriting these new props. As you saw from our demo, of our application is being able to synchronize the live state changes from the developer's app to Monocle. In order to do this, we needed to be able to harness the state changes that the developer was changing. In order to do this, we implemented wrapper functions inside their, each of their React components, which would, then, which would then intercept the state changes as they were interacting with the components. We also needed a way to transfer this information from the developer's app to Monocle to isolated React applications. We achieved this by implementing Redux. Redux is a library that focuses on storing state as a single immutable state tree. Once we have our data from our developer application, we can dispatch information to our Redux store, where our monocle application can then listen on state changes and then re-render the component hierarchy and visualize the new state changes of the application. Thank you so much for coming out today. We're currently trending on GitHub with nearly 500 stars. Please check us out.